Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Recon 35, a 3.5 inch micro long range quadcopter by Recon FPV powered by two 18650 lithium ion battery cells. The Recon 35 is available in both analog and digital versions and in this quick video in which I'm going to test the analog version, I'm going to go over its features and specs, perform an endurance test, give my feedback after testing it out and show you some flight footage. First of all, in terms of packaging, here you can see everything that came inside the box of the Recon 35. So along with the quadcopter, you're getting a Recon FPV branded battery velcro strap, a screw and a knot which are used for securing an action camera on top of the drone, a small card that shows you how to install the 18650 lithium ion battery cells correctly, the user manual of the AGRC Cisus 10 all-in-one flight controller, two sets of Jemfen Hurricane 3520 tri bladed propellers, some stickers, and two rubber bands which are used for securing the batteries. In terms of specs, both analog and digital versions of the Recon 35 are available with multiple ready receiver options, and they only differ in the bundled VTX and camera. The analog version features the Cadix Retail 2 micro-sized FPV camera and the Zeus Nano VTX, and the digital version can be bundled with either Runcam Link Phoenix or Cadix Polar Vista digital transmission systems. Both analog and digital versions feature the Recon FPV 1303.5 5500kb motors, the AGLRC Zeus 10, an all-in-one F4 flight controller that has an integrated 10 amperes BLLS 4-in-1 ESC, and the AGLRC M80 GPS unit. As for the batteries, the Recon 35 is using two 18650 lithium ion battery cells which are connected in series and you must pay attention to the orientation of the battery as in case both batteries are going to be placed in reverse you are going to fry the flight controller. While on the battery tray you can find a marking that shows you the correct polarization of the battery it can be easily missed so I highly recommend to highlight it in order to avoid making mistakes. As for the frame, which is available separately, its wheelbase is 160mm and it features a wide X pattern, so the propellers are not going to appear neither on your FPV feed nor in the action camera recorded footage. The thickness of the top carbon fiber anybody plate is 2.5mm, the width of each arm is 6.1mm, the thickness of the bottom carbon fiber plate is 1mm, the thickness of the side carbon fiber plates is 1.5mm, the distance between them is 19mm, as this frame supports micro-sized FPV cameras, and you have two mounting options for securing a 25.5 by 25.5mm stack. As for its weight, without the battery, the analog version of the Recon 35 weighs 121.6 grams. Including two 18650 lithium-ion battery cells, the weight is 213.6 grams, and the total weight, including an Insta360 GoTo camera and the amount, which is a little bit on the heavy side, is 250.7 grams. So in case you need to stay below 250 grams, simply use a lighter mount and you'll be good to go. As for beta flight configuration, here is a quick overview of the settings that the Recon 35 was shipped with. These settings are, as always, included down below as a dump file, so in case you need to, you can simply use it. In addition, the PID tune of the Recon 35 worked pretty well, so I don't think that you will need to adjust it, and in order to access the failsafe options, you will need to enable the expert mode, and you should note that out of the box, the failsafe option is set to GPS rescue, and you might need to adjust these values and also disable this option, depending on the environment that you are going to fly in. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Recon 35. And overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that I really like this micro quadcopter as I found it kind of surprising to find out that despite the relatively heavy weight for a 2S setup, it is pretty powerful and agile. It is much more powerful than the Recon 30 and in case you are debating which version you should get, I highly recommend to get the Recon 35 as it is not only more powerful, it is also more enjoyable to fly as the Recon 30 was more of a cruiser and on top of that the Recon 30 is not equipped with a GPS unit so it is not very suitable for long range flying. 
In terms of flight time, using these two Bezen branded 18650 3100mAh lithium ion battery cells, I got about 15 minutes of flight time and I was able to cover a total distance of about 10 kilometers. The endurance test, however, was performed under windy conditions and I can estimate that in case the weather was more calm, I was able to cover more distance and fly for maybe two or three more minutes. Pay attention that the flight time is going to be affected by the batteries that you are going to use. I have a very good experience using these batteries and you can find them linked down below. As for flight time with an onboard lightweight action camera, you can expect between 3 to 7 minutes of flight time depending on how you fly. And as I mentioned before, the Recon 35 is pretty powerful and it can easily carry this type of lightweight action camera. Anyway, that's going to do it for my quick review of the Recon FPV Recon 35. And now I'm going to wrap up the video with some flight footage. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. Thank you.